Okay, let's try this again. Got a lot more health to spare this time. Oop. <laughs> Also definitely one of the trickiest parts about this mission. The fact that you whenever you need to escape that little section, the police is waiting for you there. Usually he's able to do some damage to you. Luckily I was able to avoid it this time, so this time I should have this. Okay, definitely be wise and don't go across the bridge on the west side of town. No sidewalks, so the roadblocks will kill you there, as the previous uh, million attempts have shown. I should have it now. Almost no damage in the first part. Even able to avoid the instant damage the police cars usually give you the moment the second stage begins. Just one giant straightaway. That lone little section where the destination is, and hopefully have enough damage in order to get rid of some cop cars if they're still chasing me. As long as they stay far away from me, I don't mind. Okay, they got hit. So no other way than and they lost me. The police is definitely really hard to deal with in New York. I keep saying that, but it's definitely true. It's the only city where I feel. You cannot outrun the police, even if you're on a straight way, don't make any mistakes, just keep on going max speed, the police will still catch up with you if they don't make any mistakes of their own. This is the only city where that's the case, I feel. Stay away from his cloud. Much rather not have him follow me. Don't have to worry about time. So I'm not going to worry about time. Most important thing is that I finally uh, beat this mission. Okay, you still see me. It's not fair, I was not in your cloud. Okay, hopefully I'm able to shake them, and that I did. St stupid yellow caps. <laughs> I need my damage. Because of the lone roads. Heading towards the destination, it's pretty much impossible to avoid a police car spawning there, so you definitely need to have some damage available to you if you want to get rid of the police. This is one of the few missions in this game where you're actually forced to wreck the police cars at the end. There's no other way around it. You could also try to go in circles in this location here. But uh, that usually does not end very well. You still need to head towards this little section at the end. And at least two police cars will always spawn here. Got three of them on my ass now. That's not a good sign. Okay, one is gone. Second one is gone. Okay. One I can take. Let's hope no new ones will spawn. There we go, finally. <laughs> so, this is obviously going to be my successful attempt for this mission. I'll probably cut out the first part because nothing special happened there. But finally, this is the rescue. So, be a wise man and pick the other route <laughs> if you want to have an easy route towards the end. <laughs> Not an easy, easy mission either, but this one is harder. <laughs> Cutscene time. Let's go see what we have. This time I'm gonna make a fresh start. New city, new job. How long you been working for Hancock? A couple of years, I guess. Yeah, I know. I know he's crooked. What are you mixed up in, Tanner? What I know and what I can prove ain't exactly seeing eye to eye right now. What are you gonna do when this all blows over, Tanner? Okay, it seems our girl Ellie is actually in leagues with Hancock, she's working for him, so we might be able to make good use of her in order to get some evidence on this guy, since we know he's involved with Castaldi's gang. That might prove useful. Let's just go to mission 3, because the missions meet up again here. You have three new but there's another split pathway coming up. <laughs> Let's get started. 
We got some more cab rides we need to give in the city. We just need you to bring us one we can use. Don't bring it in if it's all beat up. Another mission where we need to bring a car mint condition. Okay. We've been doing plenty of these. The Miami one proved to be the hardest one so far. <laughs> the very first one. I have never been a big fan of the yellow caps in this town. And now I'm forced to ride one. <laughs> Poetic justice, let's go. Let's bring this cap in, and yes, we need to bring it all the way to Brooklyn, very far away. Nothing too spectacular, the police is not very aggressive in this mission. There's also not a timer. The biggest challenge is, it's dark, it's raining, and we're driving a car that breaks easily. So just do this one very, very carefully. Only go full speed in these straightaways. And hope uh, cop cars spawn on different avenues, so you can avoid them as long as possible. Let's keep a close eye out on every crossing. Keep a close eye on turning signals, so don't get surprised by the cars that shift lanes uh, all of a sudden. And this one should be doable. I still consider this one easier than the Miami one. It is funny though how this mission forces me to play as my mortal enemy here in New York. <laughs> The yellow caps. Now, how they have been a thorn on my side in so many years of playing the missions here. They always manage to get the best of me in these crossings. Luckily, on these wider avenues, you don't have to worry about them as much. But the moment you enter the narrower streets, you don't have a good overview on the crossings. Then it usually ends up being very annoying. Because I still feel the yellow caps in this town are actually programmed in such a way that they always hit you in those intersections. Okay, I'll keep rolling on this straightaway for as long as possible, so I don't have to make any weird turns. I don't have to worry about other traffic. Like I explained, on wider avenues it usually is a lot safer to go full speed. Careful for cars that shift lanes, as you can see. I'm also getting lucky with the police so far. I've not seen a single one. They did sp spawn occasionally, but every single time on different streets. So that definitely helps. That's definitely a way this mission can get a lot tri trickier. Let's see if I can make this the very first mission ever. Where I'm not getting chased by the police at all. That would be nice. <laughs> Here's another one, but this one I can also avoid. Obviously going to take the bridge carefully, because this... There's a couple of poles that I can hit. Since it's so dark, I can't really see them, so I need to be careful. Okay, almost there. Already entering Bro Brooklyn. Which consists out of five whole streets in this game. <laughs> but seriously, not a single cop car. What the hell is happening here? Oh, there's one! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Little bit too late, guys. But I still uh, shouldn't uh, cheer too soon, because, of course, this is still a mission where I break easily. So one cop car in the end can be enough to wreck me completely. But there's one other challenge I can still go for. Since this is a mission where you wreck easily, try to do this mission without any damage at all. That's also interesting. A mission where the challenge is... Your damage bar fills up quickly, and I'm just gonna do it without any damage. <laughs> so I'm obviously going to avoid this cop car that just showed up. Don't really feel like him chasing me. To no surprise. Okay. One more straightaway, one more turn, and we're there. No damage. Not even silly yellow caps that turn up at intersections can stop me. Even those I'm able to avoid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little bit of a risk, but still no damage. There we go. That was after the mission ended. That damage does not count. It was still no damage run. I don't care what you say. <laughs>
let's move on because there's another mission attached to this split pathway this was not the only one so press continue and we'll move back to the answering machine after this mission listen we got trouble Granger's gang's on its way to us you gotta make us some time to get our together Stop them getting to us before we can clear out. There's gonna be a few of them. Ooh, Granger's gang again. Our rifles, our competition. They're trying to make a hit for us, it seems, so we need to take them out. We need to stall for time, give the rest of our gang some time to get ready for them. And how are we going to do that? Take out Granger's boys. We are thrown into the city. And what is our mission? Track down Granger's gang. We need to ride around this town, and as you can see, some random cars get selected, usually cabs, where apparently Granger's gang is in, and we need to take them out. Finally, a mission where I can destroy yellow cabs. Hell yeah! <laughs> Last time I was uh, forced to ride one myself. Mission I did quite successfully, and now we can finally bash some yellow cabs. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> There's one way to take out the yellow caps. <laughs> Hit the yellow cap riding in front of it. So it gets flung into the yellow cap I was aiming for. <laughs> it also counts. <laughs> oh, what am I thinking sometimes? But of course, there's also some cops here, so I don't think this is going to be easy sailing. I do still consider this one of the easiest missions in New York. We've got plenty of time to do this. All the caps that get selected, I think they are random. But they're never too far away, so usually pretty easy to get to them quickly. So the time limit here, not a very big deal. The biggest challenge here is definitely your damage. Since you're forced to destroy these yellow caps, and therefore forced to make damage. Uh, if you combine that with the fact that there's also still cops chasing you, your damage bar can get troublesome here. But usually even that does not give me too much trouble. It's an easy short mission, in my book. I'm surprised the last one took so long, but uh, we got them all. Granger's boys are going to take a little bit longer to get to our boys, since they need to walk now. <laughs> but okay, this was the final mission on this pathway. Let's return to the answering machine before mission 3, so we can do the other pathway. Okay, we're back. Mission 3B is up next. But as you can hear, there's also another prank call present here. I don't know why he's so angry. I paid my rent this time. <laughs> weird, weird. Serious business now. Granger's wheels had just been spotted, cowboy. They're parked up in Midtown. Call me if you want to make a mess of them. Okay, we're after Granger's boys again. Even in this pathway, they are our target. Only this time, we're targeting parked cars, it seems. We found out where Granger and his gang have stashed their cars. And we're going to target those in this mission. Okay, interesting. This time, Tenor is the one calling instead of uh, the other way around. <laughs> Okay, I never really understood those kinds of cutscenes, just Tanner calling saying, okay, I agree to the mission. Okay, let's go, let's go get started. Never really understood why that is necessary in some missions. <laughs> but okay, it's uh, still a cutscene, so I'll give it a fair shot. Trash Granger's Wheels. It is parked all the way over here at the park near Chinatown. Pretty easy to get to. Once again, pretty hard to do because of darkness and rain. And that is all of the challenge here, because th for the rest I don't consider this mission too hard. The cops aren't really an issue here. The time, also not really an issue here. So the fact that there is limited visibility is actually the only thing that really makes this mission somewhat challenging. 
something that happens a lot in New York, I noticed. There's a handful of missions where there's no rain, but most of the missions are raining in New York. The game definitely decided, okay, at this point in the game, we need to do things difficult. So, it's going to be bad weather all the time. At least most of the time. Oh, what the hell? Police car that spawned into existence out of nowhere. <laughs> Okay, as long as he doesn't bother me all that much. Let's get this guy's car. It's a parked car, so it's pretty easy to trash. <laughs> and how many cops are on my ass? Four? It's a little bit crowded here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alive, preferably. Yeah, there's four cop cars. Three behind me. Man, this mission is brutal. I thought the cops weren't that big of a problem here, but I misremembered apparently. This is one of the missions where four of them start chasing you. And that does not happen every day, if you haven't noticed in the other missions. <laughs> uh, can't see the trees in this darkness. <laughs> With all of my lights out, that also doesn't help. Of course, the more damage you take with your car, it also gets shown off st aesthetically the damage, so even your head and tail lights get shot off at some point. With shot off, I mean they are destroyed. They simply don't work anymore. <laughs> Oh, uh, get out of my way. <laughs> Apparently I don't need yellow caps in order to hinder me at intersections. <laughs> Regular cars can also still do it. Oh, uh, slippery. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, this mission is trickier than I remembered. Still first try. Hell yeah. Okay, we're at mission 4B coming up next. So we're going to stay on this line. And continue with the next cutscene, which is probably going to be Tanner at the phone again. Yeah. <laughs> and this time he's waiting for a call. <laughs> he picked up immediately. <laughs> he knew the call was coming. Cowboy, I got a job in your line. One of Granger's boys been picking up negs that we want to take a look at. Now you get your ass in your car and you chase that dude. And bring us those next lickety split. Okay, and it's the next part of us versus Granger's gang. <laughs> it's a lot of these missions. Only this time they got some photographs, it seems. Next, those are short for negatives. They got some photographs of us, and uh, we won't. We don't want that. Apparently, it is something that can put us in the bad daylight. Perhaps even something that can. Uh, Get us behind jail, you might say. Some proof that we are doing bad stuff. So we're going to stop this guy. We're going to transport the negatives, it seems. The photographs. Which came as negatives back in the 70s. So back in the day, the way photographing worked was a little bit different. But at least they got some proof on us. And one way or another, we're getting them back. That we're doing another pursuit mission. Oh! I'm actually surprised that didn't take him out. Apparently this guy's a little bit more damaged than... Uh, ...any other car would have. Because that hit would have been enough in any other case. And this guy apparently has a little bit more health. Therefore automatically making this the hardest uh, pursuit mission so far. <laughs> okay, there I almost failed. Stupid darkness. Oh, hit lamppost again. Oh, <laughs> there I go. <laughs> Was kind of waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, he's still not gone. Well, as long as the game allows me to continue. Yeah, this proves that riding around in the darkness is definitely pretty difficult to do, as you can see. Okay, I'm still allowed to chase him. He was apparently not far enough that the mission failed. Okay. Quick little alleyway tour. Ooh. <sighs> Tricky turns. Oh, get out of my way. Why didn't the, the guy had headlights? <laughs> Normally at night it's pretty easy to recognize other traffic because of their headlights, but that guy did not have any. <laughs> Come on. 30 seconds. There's still a timer here, so. Can't take forever here. 
I only just noticed it's another yellow cap. <laughs> and there we go. Shouldn't have taken that turn, my friend. I'm so close behind you, that was your death. And with you out of the way, the mission is done. And speaking of done, I think we're at 20 minutes already. Even though I still have parts to cut, I plan on uh, cutting a little bit in uh, the rescue. So I think this is going to be the final one for now. I don't think I'm able to do this in one more part. So probably two more episodes after this one. But we'll see how far we can get. Next time we will continue. Dreeks out.